welcome back to another video on the Enchanted Vase of if you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste test, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow spooky spoonies. I hope everyone is doing well today. I'm super excited. If you're new here, every month I like to do a spooky small business shout out video where I try to feature small businesses. Some of them I've tried before and I just love their stuff so I keep getting it. Some of these are completely new ones to me and it's just a way to support small businesses. Um, I know especially as we're getting into Halloween decor hunting season, a lot of us love going to our TJ Maxx and Home Goods and Target and Joanne and Michaels and all of that, but I also really, really love to support small business and give them a shout out and show you guys so you can also support them as well. If there's any small businesses that I haven't featured and you want me to try out, leave them in the comments down below. I'd definitely love to check them out. I would say, I think majority of stuff I usually end up finding on Etsy. There's a couple that are from people I follow on Instagram. There's, I went a little, oh my gosh, there's more than just this even. I went a little bit crazy this month. Actually, a lot of this I bought in June. Oh my God, my battery's dying. No, let me charge the battery. <laughs> Okay, I put in a new battery. Hopefully this one lasts. It's an off-brand battery, so... Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> so I was saying, I actually bought a lot of these items in June. If you saw my last um, Smoky Small Business shout out, I got a lot, and then I was still on a shopping spree on Etsy, so, so much of this I've had for several weeks now, and I've kind of forgotten what I got, which makes it even more exciting because this feels like freaking like Christmas or my birthday or something. So I'm super, super excited. If you didn't see last month's video, I'll link it down in the description below as well as up in the card. So feel free to check that out. Oh, I do want to mention, I do purchase all of this with my own money. None of this is gifted or sponsored or anything like that. So all of my, all the opinions and everything are my own. Um, if anyone wants to sponsor me or anything, you're welcome to, but I'm very happy to support um, small businesses and creators. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. First one I have, this is from Moss and Blossom. This one is, um, actually I found it on Instagram. It was like an Instagram ad, but I'd seen it like a lot. And so I was like, well, it looked really cute. Let's just give it a try. I will say it did take a little while to get it. Um, I think there were, I think she actually had some like issues sourcing product or something. It took a little while, but once once we got the communication and the shipping and everything right, it wasn't that long to get here. So I'm really excited for this. And um, it's a million degrees outside, so this is not really the perfect weather for this item, but I'm always thinking about like fall and winter <laughs> and needing like all the cute cozy clothes. So I got this cute cropped hoodie this says ghouls support ghouls and it looks really really adorable i got let's see what size i got i got a size medium i usually wear a women's like medium to large um pant size is, well i'm not talking about pant size <laughs> i think this will work i it's, it's definitely cropped but i think you know as long as you wear like a t-shirt or tank top or something underneath it this will be really really nice the inside ooh very, very nice, soft, fleecy material. This is gonna be super cozy. I really love all the little details on the print of this. You can see like all the little spider webs within the letters and on the skeleton hands. I just think this is really cool. It's a, it's a really cute hoodie and like, I think you could also wear it like late summer or like if you're somewhere that has like cool summer evenings. I mean, definitely not where I live, but maybe if you were like, I don't know, Antarctica, <laughs> Europe maybe, I don't know, this would be really cute. So I found this on Instagram. For all the items, I will be linking the shops down in the description below. I'll also try and link the individual items that I get as well. So some of these, if they have an Instagram, I'll make sure and post their Instagram so you can follow them there too. It's definitely gonna be a little short, but I think it'll be okay. I am 5'1", so take note of that if you are, you know, of an average height and not shorty short short like me, then I don't know, maybe size up a little. I almost wish I would have so it'd be a little bit longer, but honestly, if I wear it over a tank top or something, it'll be fine. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I was sitting here cleaning up everything, um, trying to get all the bags ready to throw them away. There was another thing in the Moth and Blossom 
bag. It says, I'd love to hear your feedback and share pics. And there's this little extra, like, looks like scrunchie and hair clips. I'm really glad I went through the bag and didn't throw this away. Oh my gosh, they're stickers. <laughs> You'll see later in the video, I love stickers. Look at these, these little, like butterflies or moths. Those are really pretty. So there's some blue hair clips and a velvety scrunchie. Hey, I use these scrunchies a lot. Like, especially I put my hair up when I sleep. So that's cool, kind of random, but I really like it. There's some more stickers in here. Ooh, these are cute, creepy. I don't know if they sell these in their shop as well or if they just put them in here as extras. Ooh, look at the eyes. <gasps> Uh, that would be a pretty tattoo, I gotta say. I love that one. Hello, sir. See all the all of our killers. Thank you, Moth, Moth and Blossom. I really love this stuff, and I do really, really love the sweatshirt. I highly recommend that. The quality on it seems really nice, so. Cool, thank you for the fun extras. That's really sweet. I don't know if you do that for everyone, but um, I, I appreciate it. That's really nice of you. Okay, next place is Black Mast. I have ordered from them in the past. I'll even post a picture. Um, when I went to Disney earlier this year, I wore a shirt that says like Disney goth on it. It was super cute and I bought that tank top from them I think, last year. And I was like, let me just check them out. And they had some cute items. So I, I know one of the pieces I got, the other one I can't remember. First of all, they're just like, look at this. I mean, I just love their style. It's a very dark, but also cute aesthetic. So it's like tropical, but with skeletons. Oh my gosh, Oh, It's a little note from him, Brandon. As I think last time I, I got a note, it was actually signed by the owner as well, which is really, really cool. Oh, that's right, oh my gosh, I forgot. Okay, so I got a medium in this as well. This is Unfaithful Lover Long Since Dead. Deep asleep in thy wormy bed. Wiggle thy toes, open thine eyes, twist thy fingers toward the sky. Life is sweet, be not shy. On thy feet, so saith I. Tell me what it's from down in the comments. You gotta know. I'm so freaking excited. And this is nice soft cotton material. The other one, this is not at all spooky, but um, when I saw it, I was like, yes, please. Anyone know what this is from? It says charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. I got this because I was gonna wear it to Pride. I ended up wearing a different shirt because I forgot I had this. <laughs> it's fine, I will totally just wear it whenever. So if you know what either of these are from, comment below. It will make my spooky heart so happy if you do. Next one. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna geek the freak out when I get this open. I think you guys will too. Okay, the name of the company is Crafty Creative. Found them on Etsy. Oh my gosh. Okay. The Halloween Town keychain, but she actually signed it. I'm so, so excited. This is actually was her name? Kimberly. I don't know her last name. She signed it. Kimberly something. That's the girl who plays Marnie in Halloween Town. They had the keychain for sale, and there's an option. You pay like an extra ten dollars and you could get her to sign it and i was like this is the closest i will probably ever come to meeting her and getting her signature so i am like i will not be putting this on my car keys i will probably hang this up <laughs> look even dot's nose there's exciting things happening oh lord actually honey <laughs> let me set you down here i'm so geeked out when i was little like between hocus pocus and halloween town and practical magic I watched them so many times. And so when I saw it, Kimberly has her own shop on Etsy and she makes keychains and she makes shirts and all sorts of really cute things. I was just like, yes, I have to get something. This shirt says, being normal is vastly overrated. And I got it in purple. She has it in several different color options. School with purple hair, I had to get the purple shirt. I just thought this was so cute. I think it's the kind of thing where like, if you know the movie, you'll know this. Otherwise, it's just like, oh, that's kind of an interesting quote, but like, I don't know, it's like a, like an inside Easter egg to the movie. <laughs> so for those who understand, I think this is adorable. Oh my gosh, and I got a medium in the shirt. So that's a good, I think this was unisex sized. So that's a decent size. I think that'll fit really well, but honestly, I'm just geeked out about the keychain and having her signature. Oh my gosh. So yeah, definitely check out her shop for sure. 
especially if you're a Halloween Town lover like me. She always goes to like different um, horror cons and comic cons and that kind of stuff. But I've never seen her in person and I've never gone to one of those. I don't know if they ever come to Cincinnati. If they did, I would hope she would be there. But honestly, I'm just, this is, this is so exciting. Okay, I'm geeking out, I'm geeking out. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be a nightmare to edit. Jenny, get it together. <laughs> okay, next one I wanna show. Yeah, I definitely have been, been trying to get more spooky shirts. So this next thing is all by Art by LeMay. I found her on Instagram. Um, and she does such cute artwork, like really, really well done. And a lot of it has this kind of like either vintage flair to it or just like quirky, spooky flair. And she offers the artwork, you can usually get prints, but she also offers it on t-shirts. So I got it, oh, this is soft. Here's the first one, it says keep it spooky. And you could pick the color shirt that it went on depending on what kind of material you chose. I chose a green one for this because I thought just like green and orange, it's super pumpkin-y. And I just love this green and it's very like almost Kelly green. It's, a, it's darker in person than it is showing on camera just because the ring light is making it look so bright. I think it's really, really cute and this is super soft. So I feel like a lot of these shirts, I could wear them like with a nice black skirt or something like that. So it's a nice way to like add a little bit of like spookiness to my outfit without having to like dress up or something. Oh, by the way, I think you guys, if you've been here since at least last year, you saw this, these like skirt tall overall things, but I got this from Hot Topic last year. I think it is still on their website. So check it out. Just look up like ghost skirt tall. I love this, it's super comfortable and it has pockets. So check it out if you're looking for like a spooky little dress thing. Next shirt, I got three shirts from her. <laughs> the next one says spooky queen. I mean, just look at this. These ghosts with heels on and this like drippy, spooky queen lettering. Oh, and of course I got it on purple. I actually probably could have sized down in this style. This one I got a large, cause some of them said like, oh, run small, order up. So I ordered up. Like the green one is an extra large, but this one's a large. I think it's cause it, they were different style shirts, but I just got all of the, the softest cotton possible. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to wear these. And then <laughs> I saw this one and I was like, yes, spooky cats. Honestly, just cats. <laughs> Trick or treat. And this vintage style cat. I got it on this like heathered gray fabric. Oh my God, I love it. I love these. I love her artwork and I'm so excited to finally have some of her pieces because I followed her for well over a year, year and a half now. And I was just, I kept debating which ones to get and like that kind of thing. And I finally was just like, let's just do it. I think she was running a sale actually in her shop too. So I was like, oh my gosh, perfect time. <laughs> Go support the ghoul again. Her stuff will be down in the description below. I think there's just two left. This one, oh, okay. Do I remember this one? I do remember this one. Oh, okay. So this is from uh, Spook Show Babe Designs. I found this when I was just searching on Instagram for like, cute spooky jewelry and this is just, oh my gosh okay first of all let me take it out of the plastic so you guys can really see it look at this freaking necklace it's like i think it's clay and oh my god the face on this she had this in two different colors you could do like orange with the black face i think and then orange face with black flower and i just like this one but they're all adorable she has lots of different stuff on there oh Aww. Oh, let me read this note. This is so kind. It says, thank you very much for supporting my art and not just asking for free stuff. I get that all the time and it's super frustrating for an artist just trying to make it in this world. I really appreciate you and put some spooky cute summer stickers and print in here for you as a thank you for being awesome. Crystal, that is so freaking sweet. Oh my gosh, let me, oh my gosh, I gotta show you, <laughs> let me show you this. So first of all, love. Her artwork look at this it's so so pretty done I'm, I'm loving this necklace I might it's on this like little ball and chain necklace I might switch it and put it on like not with this but, like one of my um, other normal chains just because I like them more as a choker so first of all here's this really cute artwork oh and this is all about the artist so it tells you that's really cool crystal that's really smart too. You get to learn about the artist, kind of what they like, what they're into. It gives you more of a sense of who they are as a person and where they get their inspiration from. She loves nature, Halloween, 
Favorite colors, oh, purple, green, pink, and black. Great combination. Handmade creepy cute artist. Crystal, you're freaking adorable. And oh my gosh, these stickers, you guys. I've been, I've been starting to collect stickers. You'll see that in the next Spooky Small Business haul. I'm waiting for them to come. I got some stuff from this artist in the UK. So it's taking a little while to get here, but I can't wait to show you. I bought some stickers and some art prints from them. Look at these. Oh, okay, so this is like a print of all this little artwork she's done. <laughs> Look at this, like flamingo float. Oh my gosh. Like a planchette watermelon popsicle. Spooky slides, you know, oh, spider web hat. Yes. And then there's some sticker versions of this. I have like zero space on my laptop, but I'm gonna make space because these are freaking cute. Crystal, this is this is so incredibly sweet of you. You really didn't have to put the extra stuff in. This is why we love small businesses, you guys. They really put their heart and soul and they appreciate when people support them because they truly to put so much effort into their work. I just, I'm sorry, I can't get over this. This is so cool. I really hope I don't break this. It feels like it's pretty solid, <laughs> but I'm a, I'm a ghoul who barely likes to break stuff, so. I love this. Spooked Show Babe Designs. Check them out. Sorry, I just noticed on her sticker, <laughs> it says SPF 1000. <laughs> As a ghoul who overheats and burns like so freaking easily, <laughs> I love that and can empathize with the need to like have zero sun on me. <laughs> this is a long video, huh guys? I got so much, I told you. This last one is from Trippy Resin Shop. Um, again, I found them on Instagram just browsing and I got, I got two sets of earrings. This first set, I actually already wore these because I wore them to the Pride Festival. They're these bisexual pride moons. I love it because it's the, the colors of the, the bi pride flag. Oh, they're so pretty. I, I love moons and I love flowers and put it with those colors. I mean, it's kind of perfect. I also really loved buying from her. She was really, I wish I could remember her name. I can't remember your name, dear. Well, you were very kind. I remember messaging with her and she is also like a small business uh, queer artist. So we love to support that. She was just so very sweet. I was like, if you have any questions or any issues, please let me know. The other set of earrings I got were these moon tarot card earrings. These are so freaking cute. As someone who loves tarot and obviously loves moons and I love the moon card. These were like kind of a must for me. Oh, it's double sided. Okay, first of all, that's awesome. Most of these kind of things, it's one sided. These are double sided. Now that's, that's cool. I really can appreciate that. Cause sometimes you know, earrings go fly and twisting around and you get twisted and you don't even see the designs. That's smart. That's really well done too. Those are super, super cute. I love it. Okay, I think that is everything. Sorry this is such a long video, but honestly, I'm not mad about it because I got to show you guys some really cool art from a lot of amazing artists and creators. And I really do hope you guys support them. Again, everything for them will be listed in the description below. Check them out. If you have any other artists or um, people who create jewelry or anything like that, please leave their information down in um, like the comments. I would love to check them out because I'm always trying to find new, cute, spooky artists, especially women-owned, especially uh, people of color-owned, especially queer-owned. Okay, so that is it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you aren't already, do consider subscribing to the channel and make sure you hit the bell. I do these kind of unboxings at least once a month. I do lots of Halloween videos at this point at least once or twice a week, so you definitely don't wanna miss out on anything. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. I always appreciate it. I hope you're doing wonderful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.